Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Happy holidays my friend, your presence here is cherished, and I'm so grateful for you. We have so much to catch up on, so let's get right to it. A golden opportunity as the year 2023 comes to a close, we are being presented with a phenomenal opportunity to heal the deepest wounds and hurts within ourselves, to help prepare us for an epic new year. 2023 has been an immensely spiritual year, one that has been helping us anchor into our hearts and minds a balance between the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. Ancient Chinese philosophy describes this time of chaos and heightened change as a turning of the tides. The yang, the masculine, is being called to support and serve the yin, the feminine. Although these principles can appear to be opposites, they are essential to the expansion of one another. Every aspect of our lives is experiencing the reverberations of the sweeping internal and external shifts that have been taking place. Right now, we have the opportunity to welcome an unwavering balance between the Divine Feminine Principle and Divine Masculine Principle. This balance has a strong potential to manifest itself and become realized in the collective consciousness in 2024 and beyond. This will reveal itself through qualities of more grace, compassion, gentleness, patience, flexibility, wisdom, beauty, authenticity, creativity, and abundance, as well as more acceptance, forgiveness, nurturing, fertility, accessibility, kindness, healing, and unconditional love. What's being asked of us now is to create the space within our mind, body, and energy field to better support and sustain these qualities and to allow them to flourish. For each remaining day of 2023, I invite you to find a few minutes to create space in the following way, 1. Close your eyes. Take several deep breaths to help you center, then place your right hand over your heart, and place your left hand on top of the right hand. To ask your I am presence or spirit how you can support and love them throughout your day, the way she or he has supported and loved you always. 3. Listen to the silence in between the thoughts. This is where the answers from your spirit will begin to reveal themselves. If the mind is unable to understand or receive a direct answer, simply allow your mind to bask in the silence for a moment. 4. Express gratitude to your mind for being willing to embrace the stillness within you. 5. Express gratitude to your spirit for loving you unconditionally. 6. Open your eyes and express gratitude for each of your senses your gifts of sight, sound, taste, touch, and smell. 7. As you go throughout the rest of your day, imagine periodically what it would feel like if your heart was smiling. A time to heal the opportunity to heal our deep and unresolved traumas is now being fully realized, in our personal lives and for all humanity. Growth and healing that once seemed impossible to the rational mind are now becoming a normal part of life. Healing occurs because of allowing ourselves to return to a state of peace. Wherever there is peace, we can know that flow, ease, love, wholeness, joy, creativity, and abundance will reside. If any of the following are attached to our expectations of healing, fixing something, getting rid of something, Controlling or forcing something to happen, blaming something, hiding or denying something, not allowing ourselves to feel something that makes it far more challenging to experience a healing. Allowing peace to be our top priority creates an opening for lasting healing to occur. True peace is the foundation for creating a world of unity, love, and abundance for all. We are seeing many countries around the world now breaking away from the old ideologies that have promoted intercultural separation and disconnection. There's a collective priority now that is laying the foundations for a much brighter future ahead for all, rather than for only a select few. There may be a healthy skepticism in our minds as to whether all this is really happening, because of all the separations that our minds have been conditioned to see in the world. This is completely understandable considering that it used to take decades or centuries before any real change became visible. However, as things continue to evolve more quickly, it's becoming easier to notice the changes happening all around us. In our personal lives, 
the current energies are creating an opportunity for us to transcend the old stories we once created for ourselves, which prevented us from healing. Some of these stories include, believing that we must believe that every thought we have is true believing that the mind needs to operate from fear and victim consciousness believing that we need the approval of anyone other than ourselves believing that we are broken and need fixing believing in lack, and not having enough believing that we are not allowed to feel our feelings believing that we are misunderstood, and that no one can understand us believing that we need something outside of ourselves to make us happy, a romantic soul partner, a certain lifestyle, a specific body type, etc. All these stories, which were created by the mind's tendency toward self-protection, have the opportunity to be resolved now, so that we can return to the peace that has always been underneath it all. Peace is who we are at our core. As our inner stories come to the surface to be healed and resolved, it's important to give ourselves permission to feel all our feelings, without judging ourselves. Every thought, emotion, and feeling we have ever experienced deserves to be acknowledged, and to receive our unconditional love. With this new awareness, imagine the opening that will take place for healing to be fully realized in our lives. A special time to be present the holiday season is an excellent time to practice being more present in the moment. When we are present, we transcend time and operate from the most expanded and empowered version of ourselves. Practicing presence allows us to be open to miracles, insights, opportunities, synchronicities, and blessings that we may otherwise not have noticed. Being present helps us to transcend the illusions of time. It's from this space of no time, a place of non-attachment, that our greatest, most desired intentions can manifest. Here are some simple things we can do to anchor ourselves in the present. Spend more time exploring and enjoying nature express gratitude often throughout the day sing, dance, knit, or find other ways to express ourselves creatively notice and be mindful of our five senses taking quiet moments to notice the sounds, shapes, colors, tastes, textures, and scents all around us have a big belly laugh daily look into the eyes of everyone we encounter throughout the day, and smile it's in the present moment that most of our freedom is experienced, because we are no longer bound to the illusions and habits of the past or worries about the future. Consciously choosing to ground ourselves in the present moment leads to a life lived from a state of grace, flow, and ease. Welcoming the support of the universe as this year comes to a completion, this is an excellent time to reflect and get clear on what we'd like more of in our lives. Here are some questions to ask ourselves to get greater clarity on what we want to create more of, what does my life look like when I am at peace and happy? What are some things I enjoyed doing as a child that I can integrate into my life now? What actions or situations feel expansive and good to me? Answering these questions can help us get clear on what we really want to experience more of. Once we have that clarity, it becomes easier to take action, and to ask for support. Most of us hesitate to ask for support from others, either because we're unclear on the kind of support we desire, or because we were conditioned to believe that getting what we want takes something away from someone else, creating a burden for them. There's also the belief that, if I ask for help from others, they'll expect me to return the favor. Life is about sharing this human experience with our sisters and brothers. And an important aspect of the human experience is being part of a community. We are here to share our blessings with one another. If you are surrounded by people who do not want to support or help you, it's usually a reflection of how you've been treating yourself or others. Are you generous with your support towards yourself and others? Do you offer support to others without expecting anything in return? Does it feel easy and fun for you to share your blessings with the world? When you can fully answer yes to these questions, you will notice that support is abundantly available in your life. When we express what we desire with the universe and those around us by asking for support, we open ourselves up to receiving opportunities we might not have had a chance to experience otherwise. The universe wants to give us everything we've ever desired for ourselves. It's just a matter of how open we are to receiving it. If you ever find yourself feeling unsupported, 
find an opportunity to support someone else, even if it's someone you don't know very well. This act of kindness will shift the energies for you. It will open your mind, eyes and heart to knowing that life is much more than hiding or separating ourselves from others. It's about living, loving, and sharing our gifts and our presence openly. Enjoying the magic of the season often, this time of year offers a unique glimpse into what direction we are moving in as a whole, in our collective consciousness. This happens most easily this time of year, when most people are more open to the magic and wonder that is actually available to us at any time of year. This often allows people to put aside their differences, while practicing more kindness, care, and compassion. Because of this, each year during this season, we all move up another step on the ladder of consciousness. We begin to move further out of the world of separation, and into a world of peace, love and respect for all life. If you are someone who has closed yourself off from the extra magic available to us this time of year, don't be too hard on yourself. Just know that if you desire it, it's available to you. During this holiday season, let's love and adore the three-year-old child within us, and in every person we meet. This is the part of us that just wants to be loved, accepted, and nurtured. We as adults now get to offer this love to our inner child, and the inner child of all those we encounter. Happy Holidays! Till next time, with love.